All right. Greetings, everybody. We welcome you to Satoris Black History Corner Internet Program. I am your host, Catherine Hunter Williams, along with my co-host, Miss Catherine Blake. Who Hello, everybody. I call Miss B. <laughs> Sometime. I was downtown in Flint the other day and uh, on Friday, and I was watching the protests. I was at the light, and I was just watching them out there walking with the with the sign saying clean, affordable water. Um, that's all we want, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and I was kind of disappointed because I was expecting more people. I thought the protest was going on like it was in the beginning. In the beginning, there were a lot of people there, but evidently, as always, they think you can do it in a day or two. That does not work. You have to plan it, have a strategy, and keep on going till you meet the goal that you want to do. Today, we have a guest here, uh, Mark Baldwin, and he's going to talk with us about the water situation in the city of Flint. You know, um, I'm still disappointed that it was not a lot of people out there. But anyway, uh, today, is somebody buzzing? <laughs> it ain't me. I heard it probably might mine. be my phone. I'm then. sorry, we getting interrupted. I thought when you turn it off, it's off, but I heard a buzz. Vibrate. Yeah. <laughs> I know you have some questions about Flint water, and I want us to know the truth. That's why we have Mr. Mark Baldwin here today, and he's going to tell us about uh, Flint and the surrounding area water. And Mark, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Welcome first. Can Thank you, you tell us a Thank little you. bit about yourself? Sure, sure. I'm, um, I was born and raised in Flint, went to Ainsworth High School. Um, I, I went to Directory Mott before we headed out to the uh, township. And uh, we lived in the oldest house in the neighborhood. Our house stood there before Chevrolet did, and we <laughs> looked down at Chevy in the hole, and um, that's that's the place that I remember as home. Mm -hmm. That's that was my that's that's my old neighborhood. Of course, it's all gone now. Kettering is, is Kettering has taken over. Yeah, Kettering is. We're becoming well, a General college uh, town. Yeah. yeah. Well, the General Motors bought it, put a parking lot in, mm -hmm. and um, so anyway, but uh, yeah, that's so that's oh, your yeah. stomping ground. That's my stopping ground. Mm -hmm. my, my dad was born here, my mother was born here, my oh. grandmother on, on both sides, and my and so we go back four or five generations. So, oh. you know what we call those kind of people, Flint tights or Flint stones. <laughs> yeah, I say yeah. So, yeah. I called my sister because uh, I was born in Blysville, Arkansas, okay. but I was raised here yeah. in the city mm -hmm. of Flint. But I got a brother and a sister that were born here, and... Uh, they are straight up Flintstones. Wow. Okay. They have total different values, really, than me and my other brothers do. Oh. Huh. Okay. You know, my other brothers, we 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 just totally different from those two. Mm. They Flintstones. Mm. Okay. And it All is right. a difference when you're born here in Flint. Yeah. You could be raised here. I'm, see, I'm country. They're not. Me too. I you was know? I was Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm an <All> Okie. Right. <laughs> Okie, huh? Okie, okay, yeah. Not yeah. from Muskogee, but Okie. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, let's continue to talk about the water. Okay, very um, good. Um, I know you had some things that you wanted to say, but I also wanted to, I told you what I wanted to talk about. Yes, was yes. the TTHM, that's yeah. in the water. Yeah, you kind of surprised me with that. So, Why? Yeah. yeah, well, so so I, I am familiar with what causes that. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, um, and it's, it's, um, it, the interesting thing is this is this is more than a problem uh, in Flint. Mm. There's other other cities are having the same problem. Oh really? Yeah. Here yeah. in Michigan or in, around in other, across the United States. Oh, water is a serious problem. They trying problem to kill across. us. I know in California yeah. they have a serious drop, yeah. and they said that the water will be gone in one year. In one year. What? Yeah, yeah the water is deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Makes so, yeah, you think water about it. It's kind of shell. scary. Yeah. Can I uh? Add something to what we uh, was talking about, the THM. Sure, yeah. TT, no, it's THM, of right. what this guy told me about it. Because okay, I asked sure. him to write it off for me so I can understand exactly right. what it is. He said that it's added to Flint water. It's chlorine, which reacts with the organics, 
organics in the water, mm -hmm. causing the byproduct THM. Right, right. Uh, and that's called trihalomethanes. Okay. And it forms, and less, uh, uh, less of this gets formed when another disinfectant, which they have put in there called chloramine, okay, or chloramine, a combination of the chlorine and ammonia, mm -hmm. a and is used according to the CPA. They have demonstrated carcinogenic activity. So this THM, some of them call it TTHM, can cause cancer. They say that uh, babies shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't give it to babies. Uh, and older people, or people with uh, immune, their immune system is down not to give, they are not to drink the water here in Flint. But yet and still they have to pay for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to let you go take it over from there. I done said what he had told me. We were talking something about it, and now you could, you know, tell us a little bit more about the water. Okay, all right. So, um, yeah, so I, I know a little bit about it. I know enough to, uh, to take action myself. Um, I don't like the fact that there's anything in the water that harms us. Yes. Um, and so, uh, and so, it, so I'm not happy with this. But w one of the concerns I have is that, you know, we, we, we have these, we, we, we get upset at our leaders, but our leaders are in a bad position too. I mean, they, they inherited this problem um, and um, they have to deal with what they have. And we all know that the, what it's going to take to uh, repair the problem is a lot of money. What did mm. they say? $50 million, right? That's what... For us to uh, repair the, the problem, why can't they just go back to Detroit's water? See, the, 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 it's not, it's not, the problem isn't Detroit, it is whether we, where we get the water from. We, we have a very fine, we have a very fine uh, facility to take care of the water. Okay. What we get from Flint, from the Flint River, can be can be uh, made uh, very very good for us. So what's the problem? The problem is delivering it from that point to our houses. Oh. It's the infrastructure. Oh. I know. So, so think get... about this for a minute. Oh so, yeah. So think about so you have a pipe like this, right? Mm-hmm. And and um, so the pipes that are going to our house, mm -hmm. and they break. Mm -hmm. They break, and so they. They twist, or you know, they turn, or they just mm -hmm. pieces break out of them. Well, water, water is comes spewing out around that pipe, right? Mm -hmm. And then, but then you also have water that's going through the pipe like this. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you know that causes a vortex. Mm -hmm. So you got the water going out, but the vortex causes water to go back in. So all that, all the the water that's that's come out around it is getting sucked back in. And anything that's around wow. that, anything that's around that pipe gets sucked back in there too. Okay. So that's why you that's and so, and so down there down so there. So that's why the water is being contaminated. Th that's that's one of the contributors. Yeah. Okay. That's one of the contributors. Now part of the part of the the, the um, part of the problem is is our homes are old. I mean, my home was built mm -hmm. in nineteen twenty four, mm -hmm. and so and if and if we haven't had the pipes replaced. I mean, we could have lead problems, and we could have we could have iron deposits and things. And and uh, I saw one gentleman who, where he went down to his hot water heater. He 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 took and grabbed some water off the bottom of his hot water heater. Well, that's all the minerals that have settled in 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 the in the, in the so that's in the not bottom of the tank in the bottom of the tank. Mm -hmm. And that happens. So we uh, uh, I moved out. I moved back to Flint from California, oh, and the, we had to replace our hot water heater. And when I drained it, it was all this, all this, this stuff rusty stuff. And it was, so is that the oh, same wow. thing that's happening with the pipes uh, the, of, the, of the water system here? All that stuff is in there, and that is what we're getting? Well, but, but well, you, well, see, we see all these different bottles of water and things. I'm just, there are a lot of different sources for the contamination or the... Okay. Or the Let's not even call it contamination, but all, all of the all the different color that we find in the water there. That brown water that they've been <laughs> yeah, showing. Yeah, brown us. water. Now I don't want to drink brown water either. We're it, told that's kind of scary. Yeah, yeah. That's it, or white it's water. It's kind of warm in here to me. I'm sorry. It's, but it is I'm warm sweating. in here. Yeah. I think you having something. No, I'm not. Because mm -hmm, I'm He's not. warm, so is I, he I, having I think, it too? I think. I think. <laughs> I, I'm getting. I think I'm getting your blood up there. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know if I want to talk to this war, guy I, I anymore. I get war quickly, but it's war. But anyway. Yeah. So uh, so anyway, we have all I've these heard. we have all these things that are contributing to w w what we're having. And so last year we had last winter. We, man, we had a terribly cold winter, and all those pipes broke, right? Oh, mm -hmm. right. And and then so so that contributed to the problem. So so just before we moved over to the. To the, from Detroit to the Flint water just before that all our pipes started breaking and wait then a minute wait a minute okay yeah. that okay you talking about this winter I'm talking about last, last year last winter this past winter which one are you talking about because I don't remember it being so cold oh, what? Uh, before oh, last year April last year because this started last year April last last year was it was way colder than this winter I thought it was more of a lot of snow we had. We, we had below zero, below 20 in some degree. Yeah, but this, oh, yeah. this, this winter has been low like that. Oh, we've had two really, really bad ones. Yeah. But, but see, that, that's what I'm really getting at. We had two really bad winters that have broken up, mm -hmm. broken up. Pipes, pipes burst and stuff all and all over, that stuff you know, got and, in there. Because the schools the, was out for weeks. You know, oh, they had yeah, a whole, that, Flint yeah. was out for a whole week. Yeah. 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 They did have problems with the yeah. schools. With the water, the pipes bursting, and different things. And, and we only have so many taxes to, <clears throat> I mean, we don't have so much funds to go ahead and send these people out to repair these pipes, right? Mm. I mean, so these guys, these guys are working, they're working. In my neighborhood, they were working all night one night because we had a, you know, there was, yeah. they had the, it was like a, it was like a, a I don't know what you call it. The water was really coming out uh, one night, and they worked all and night. And it will flood the streets. I've seen have oh, yeah. a was, pipe burst yeah. in front of my daughter's house, and the whole street was riding through floods of water. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was waiting for and rice they couldn't burst. get no pressure, no, yeah. no pressure at all. Would that be yeah. part of the sinkholes that's been around too? Well, uh, uh, sure, that that would contribute, wouldn't it? If you know, you've got if, if it's not coming to the surface, and the water mm -hmm. is is you know. And I, 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 it makes sense to me. Sinkholes have been, because I didn't think we were going to have them up here. Oh, yeah, we do. Well, we do. Yeah. Yeah, and but, I'm scared of the one uh, yeah. downtown when you go across the bridge. You know what you want to talk about? On mm -hmm. the, the Cobble Street. Right. Right, right, right. You right, go right. across that and you're over there. Going well, it was across one right bridge. down the street it from my house. It was one right there. One, one at the fire, the fire department on Pearson Road. They had a Huge one over there. Yeah. One to one See, on DuPont. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we divert and get but, back to the water. But that no, is the water. So, you know, that is the water. <laughs> and, 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 I'm sorry. And it, so I'd like, to, I'd like to talk about that for a second because I, I moved out two years ago from San Diego. And they would, cars would be driving down and a sinkhole would open up and they uh, just drive. Bam, they Whoa. Would drive right Didn't in that there. happen here in Flint? Too? Yes, it did. Oh, it did. Yeah. Okay. I think over right. on DuPont. I think on DuPont. I'm there, not sure. There was a sinkhole on DuPont Street, right? But the difference two, do two doors down from my home. But the difference is what he's talking about is like the pipes are breaking underneath the ground and it's causing water to actually wash away the what's underneath and it's packed down. So basically, after enough traffic passes, it'll sink in. Where the sinkholes in other states like Florida is because the groundwater has been depleted. It basically propped the, the water level against the you know against the top of that would keep things you know you know, up tight and, you know, actually support it. But when that, like that in Florida, it will drop down and they do, everything just caves in. So there's yeah, a so difference because the pipes here breaking causes the water to wash away when the pipes are broke. And basically that water goes somewhere and you, you the power of water carved mm -hmm. out the Grand Canyon. So, I mean, it's very powerful. Yeah. So, so one sinkhole is caused by the lack of water. The other sinkhole is caused by, by uh, erosion from the water. Too much water. Yeah, yeah. And those are deep sinkholes. Some of them can be. Whatever. Deep. That and, would and, be and something. So, so I heard that our, it's going to cost us $50,000 to repair our infrastructure here. You know what they asked for in San Diego? Hmm. Uh, $5 billion. Whoa! So. Bi 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 billion? <laughs> that's, that's well, San right. Diego is, Cali is, is uh, California. Yeah. And they said California is going to break off. They <laughs> They're the sinking ocean. anyway. <laughs> the ocean is, uh, is, is that under there? Oh, that's not really funny, though, is <laughs> no, it? No, because there's millions of yeah. people living out there. But uh, that was one of the things I had heard out there, the earthquakes and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Well, yeah, so I have, I have friends who live in Nevada. They're waiting for that to happen so they have beachfront property. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Lord. So, anyway. Okay. But so, so, so anyway, so, that, so, the, so it's a national problem. There, there, this is an issue. You know, we're, we're not I alone I thought we here. was the only ones that was having this problem. 
And uh, now you're telling me it's a national deal that other people and other states or cities is having this same problem? Yeah, there's other... And it's yeah. all from the coal? No, well, no, there's, there's various reasons. Various reasons. There's ra I mean, it, it all comes down to our infrastructure. San Diego's an old city. Flint's, you know, 100 years old. They say some of our pipes in, down below the city are over 100 years old. Mm. And so... Um, but the United States infrastructure totally is out of whack. I don't know about totally, but there it's are totally several. Out of whack. Like, it's totally They Chicago. haven't done anything. Yeah. That's why President Obama is trying to get more monies to get the infrastructure uh, fixed because it is a mess, you know. Uh, so the question is, what do we do in the meantime? Right. Right. But you know, also right. Yeah, the yeah. question uh, to still this, to, to what's popping in my mind is this stuff that they're putting in the water that's... Uh, Contaminating the water. Well, it was, so, so, so what do you so, do to, to? Okay, so let's talk, let's let's talk about two different things. So so they're doing that, but they're doing something in response to the problem. If they did nothing, the the problem would be worse because oh, the, mm. it would be worse. And so they, they're doing what they're doing what they know. I mean, we, we've had expensive experts come come in here telling them what to do. I mean, it's not, it's not for a lack of looking for a solution. The, the, the problem is they just don't have the money to, to, to do, take it. care of it all, all like it should be. Mm. I thought they did have uh, uh, some money. Well, they, I mean, they, they, they charge they, they, they people are, so much yeah. money for water. I mean, where does the money, money that they have, that they collect from the different homes, where does that go? Well, I, I don't know the accounting. I don't know the accounting mm. part of it, but, but, I, but I know they're doing what they know how mm -hmm. in order to collect money. Mm. Oh, and, yeah. And, and so... Yeah, because um, they cut these people's waters off. Yes, they will. Even though these people cannot drink this water, can't take baths in this water. I don't understand water. their understanding of why we have to pay for water we cannot drink. Cannot use. And uh, especially for seniors and, and infants. And babies. You know, it, it just doesn't make sense And you've got to, to go out and purchase water. Yeah, where is the humanity in all of this? Where is it? Well, well, let me, let me, so, so there, there is, yeah, there's a, there's a saying, out. there's a saying, mm -hmm. and see, see if you ladies can, <laughs> feel, see if you can fill in the blank. So there, there's, there's, there's one, I'm just going to call him the one, and you'll know who I'm talking about. He, he says he provides for both the wicked and the righteous. Oh, yes. He, What's he do? Yeah. Down on him. He rains on both, both the yeah. and, it, and that's called a blessing, right? Yeah. But 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 we've been conditioned for so many years to be taken care of. You know, or, you know, General Motors made sure we got a fine water infrastructure and everything. Yeah, we didn't have that problem. Yeah, for a hundred years we've been for as long well, as nearly a hundred years. Yeah, for nearly a hundred yeah. years we've been taken pretty good care of. But, but now General Motors isn't here anymore. That tax base isn't here anymore. Yeah, that tax but, but what now. is still here? Everything else. The, the <laughs> rain is still here, oh, right? Oh, the rain, yes. The so, blessings. So I heard a lady the other day, she said, you know, God gives us the water for free. Well, you know what I say? <laughs> I say put your cup out there and get that water. Mm. You know, that's what I say. And so... So you know what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. We 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 have the ability. You telling her to put the cup out there to get the rainwater? Well, I'm I'm saying, do it. You need you need a lot bigger cup than this. <laughs> rain barrel. You need you need. Can you actually drink that water from the rain? Well, they're telling you now you can't. <laughs> you Thank know? you, because there's so oh, much stuff in, in, the air in the air. Yeah. That when the water comes down, do you remember in Flint when the uh. Uh, General Motors used to do that black soot stuff or smoke used to come out. Yeah, and yeah. the snow, we used to have fun in the snow. But one year we couldn't go out because the snow had turned black. Mm. Was black from, well, I lived on the north end down right by General Motors. Okay. Buick City. Yeah. yeah Buick. I lived That's right, right I live between now. north and, and uh, uh, industrial. Oh, okay. uh, was in the hood. Oh, yeah, that was the hood. Yeah, well, all of it was the hood at one time. To open housing, that yeah. came about, you know. So hey, <laughs> all of it was the hood at one point. But at that one time, that happened, and we could not. You know, mom used to make mm -hmm. snow cream. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah sure. she couldn't do it, and that happened for every since. You know, it just 
kept going on. It didn't really stop until. But those factories are gone. See, I, I, I came when I when the, mm-hmm. I came back after I left, and I came back after the factories are gone. Mm-hmm. And I marvel at how clean our air is here. Mm-hmm. And and do you ever notice that when it, you can water your grass, and it keeps it green, but when it rains, guess what happens? It grows like crazy, crazy. right? Oh yeah. That rainwater just that the, the, yeah, the, the you're plants right. love that rainwater so much better. Yeah. You can take and gather that rainwater in a fishbowl, put a goldfish in there, and guess what it does? It swims and lives. And you <laughs> it eat should. It. That's yeah. where it come out of lakes. Well, but but Which what if but water? what if you take what if you take city water? Yeah, and put you your gotta goldfish treat it. in there. Yeah, you got to treat it and everything. I yeah. know. I stopped having fish after yeah. almost uh, yeah. thirty. I can't deal after with three it decades of having fish. Well, <laughs> so so that that water that's, that's given to us naturally. Mm-hmm. What does that tell you? There's life in that water. That's what it tells me. Mm-hmm. And so and and I agree with you. You know, perhaps we have to consider consider taking another step f- before we drink it. Mm. And so th- there are there are water filters that are fairly reasonably priced. I oh yeah, pure. right. <laughs> it pure. is. It's just a, it, it costs me less than thirty dollars to buy this pure P U R, and you just attach it to your faucet, and my water tastes good. Because at one point I could drink it and it would burn my lips and stuff. So, you know, I got kind of... Uh, okay, what is it collecting and where is it collecting and how do you dispose of it? Would you collect it? What? Well, you, 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 replace, you have to replace that. You, you have, have to replace, replace it. The, yeah, the filter that's in there. Okay. Every three months. It's all about how much water you use. Mm-hmm. But mine says every three months, you know. So that's my solution for right now. Because mm-hmm. I wasn't going to be out there buying bottles of water all the time. I can't lift them up, number one, to get them <laughs> in the house. And it takes, a, I use a lot of water. So, no, I went and got me one of those put on there. And that's my solution. But what is the long, what is the solution that's going to happen here in Flint? And how long is it going to be well, before so, they have a solution? So, what, so the, the long-term solution is, you know, we, we Let's repair. Let's give me a short-term one first. Well, yeah, so so I, I I think I think we need to work we, we need to be responsible for ourselves. I think I think we need to we need to seriously consider using the rainwater, and rain barrels, and rain, ba- and rain barrels, cisterns. Um, uh, my my best friend, mm. she has a cistern in her basement. It was there when her house was built. That's how they got the water mm. before they put the, and a lot of folks that my my. Great grandparents, you know the same, the same. So that's the solution but, that you have. I'm talking about what is the solution that the city is going to do? Well, so the city can't do anything without having the resources to do it, right? Okay. So I I say in the meantime we have to be prepared in the event they can't get us water. Mm-hmm. And 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 I have I have a I have assisted. Well, let, let me tell you about the rainwater. My yeah, friend, tell me some more about this rainwater because you're telling me that a solution, one of the solutions is to get a barrel, set it outside, and let the rain collect in that barrel. Well, and there, I can use it's, that. It's a, it's a little that. bit more. It's a, it, it's, it's a it's little bit more complicated, complicated than that. But you. not, but not much more. Not okay. much more. And uh, we're running out of time here, but. But Yo, I okay, would love. We got about five more minutes. We're gonna go five more minutes. Okay. okay all right. So the um, um, but I would love to stay in touch with you, ladies. I'm gonna be putting on a workshop. Well, oh. actually, a, a friend of mine is a Kettering engineer. He's okay. he's a, a he's an engineer graduate from Kettering. He's gonna put on a um, he's gonna put on a workshop and how we can we can gather our own water mm-hmm. and it'll and it'll be. It'll be pure drinking water, and and let me tell you about the rainwater for showering and washing your hair. My my best friend. I think I heard that it's pretty decent. It makes you your hair grow and all that kind of stuff. Well, my best friend, she has she has she has real sensitive skin, real sensitive skin. Me too. And and she would she and her hair her hair was falling out. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it was she couldn't dye it or anything. She'd want to do things for her hair and. Mm-hmm. and so she started using the rainwater, oh. and her hair started coming back nice. Like the grass. Her 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 complexion, 
her complexion <laughs> played yeah like the grass like you're right grass. yes that's yes yes one. yes yeah and so so that's what i'd have you consider i'd have you i'd i'd you know what and i, and I believe you know i mean so so we can go ahead and, and we can complain about the city putting fluoride in the water, putting excess chlorine in the water, but but if we take care of ourselves, mm -hmm. if we take care of ourselves, um, then then we know where the source is. Mm -hmm. we, we we you know we don't have to worry that maybe the test results didn't get out till after we drank the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's your solution. What's the solution with the city? What's the short-term solution? Are they going to give us all some pure filters? <laughs> to put well, I mean, yeah. you know, that's the thing that they can start doing fundraisers for. They, I mean, they're giving out water and everything. Mm -hmm. But what about some people that can't afford to buy water? I'm one of those people. That's why I wouldn't got a pure. I, I cannot be buying a whole bunch of water all the time. It's a weekly thing. You go in some people's houses and they got water stacked up mm -hmm. here. No, no that's, that's added expense yeah, that's, for that's me. That's expense. Well, so so I'm I'm asking you to wait till we we announce our workshop <laughs> and having you come out and and we'll okay. film it. We'll film it and give a clip mm -hmm. of it so you can. But well, so you know, can, there's uh, gonna uh, there's another problem with that too. Yeah. With all these bottled waters, where are all these empty bottles going? Yeah. Yeah, because they, talk they about do the not. Ecosystem. Yeah, well, I mean, if one problem they don't break down, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> well, and, and 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 they've done tests on some of these bottled waters, oh, and yeah. they and in California, when I was back there, they did a test on it, and the tap water was better than the bottled water. Yeah, and some people were refreezing, putting water in and freezing them, and they say chemicals when it thaws out goes into the water that are also cancer causing. I heard oh, that. Too. Yeah. yeah. It's like we're on a losing battle here. No, we're, no, no, we're not. We're not. Right we're now. not. We're we're not. Tell them you can't drink the pure water. Can't drink the. Well, what about Beecher's water? Their water's been brown for how long? They tell them. It, they get, they use well water. They have a different uh, system than we have here. But it's still brown, and sometimes they tell you don't drink it. Don't wash your white clothes in it. Right. You know? <laughs> well, what they do is uh, now this guy that came to me, he came with an action. It's called Action Water Treatment. And it was he was gonna do a uh, put a thing in the home and all that to do to take care of all the water, you know my uh, sh water that I shower in, bathe in, or whatever, and also the water that I drink. It was going one of them kind of systems, you know. It's a How treatment much was it and service. Cost? Well, he gave me three different things. One mm. was five twenty-five. Five hundred or five thousand. Five hundred twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one was nine eighty five and mm -hmm. one was fourteen eighty five. Mm -hmm. I was gonna go with the nine eighty five because you don't have to change the carbon, but uh, up to six to seven years. Now the five eighty five, you have to change the carbon every so often. Mm -hmm. It's a carbon in there, so I was gonna go with the one that's less mm -hmm. work to deal with. <laughs> so it's mm. it's ex it's expensive and then it's not. Mm -hmm. It's about your health. And I do know that I don't want to get no cancer from my water that I drink. Mm -hmm. So my solution, like I said, I went and bought me one of those pure things. It's called P-U-R. And put it on there. It's not expensive, and you change the filter every three months or whatever, and they're not that expensive. Mm -hmm. And you just move forward. And my water is pure at home. I can mm -hmm. drink the water, not the bath, bathing, and showering. That's a whole other thing. Because I just left a doctor with something on mm -hmm. me. And I said, wait a minute, Lord. Well, you know, like they told you, pork is bad for you. Pork has all these things. And if you eat it, you're going to get all these diseases and everything. And, and then they tell you, what they tell you? Eggs cause cholesterol. Don't eat eggs. Now they tell you, you can eat, eat eggs. eggs. Everything's fine. Now, coffee is so bad. Some of it you're going to have to deal with it with common sense. Well, I'll, what are we going to do? Say a blessing over your food and thank God for what Lord, you got. I say bless you know? <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Take care of this problem business. for me. <laughs> well, so. I'm going to let you announce your workshop. Okay, thank you. Because uh, we got to wrap it up. Gotcha. Okay. 
So gotcha. you can go on the North Shore workshop where it's going to be and everything. <laughs> so That's so we'll have to for me and let yeah, me know. I'll come back and, and I'll get you that information. I'll email it to you or give you a call. I oh, I thought you was going to be able to announce it over there. No, no, he, no, he's not yet. Not yet. You're we, not ready no, we're yet. just we're not ready yet. We're just uh, we're setting it up. We have well, we're going to have a demonstration. We're going to have a demonstration uh, system all put together, mm -hmm. and it, it the 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 materials. If you do it yourself, are less than what you're talking about there. And when the of test the comes back, for the drinking water, for the drinking water, what about for bathing, showering, and showering, and showering, and showering and bathing, and and we have, yeah. We, well, I wish you could have came with that total solution today, and had the information about the workshop. But what you can do is, uh, like you say, email me the information, and I will get it, put it on the air, okay, and let people know about it. But uh, that the rainwater, do you use it yourself? Yeah, I do. I There's do a lot of water. people. That's not new. That's a big. No, I thing. know it's not new. Yeah, but that's a big I've, thing. Had, I've had my rainwater tested, and it comes out really fine. Okay. And I and then I then I take and I have a I have a filter. It lasts a year. Cost me fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. It lasts a year, and it does, and it does. It takes a lot more out than the than the pure does, and uh, and I need to replace it once a year. Mm -hmm. so it's, okay, so, it's so a little bit less money. At least we came from, up with some uh, solutions. Yeah. We came up with a you know a couple of solutions of how to deal with the <clears> water, uh, to dr be able to drink it, to bathe in it. You know, for your children, because you got a baby, they got to have water mm -hmm. all the time for their yeah, milk right. and bathing. That's right. Yeah. Seniors got to have water. I had to. We all have to have water mm -hmm. to live. So I want to just thank you well, for thank being you my for, guest, and I thank you that yeah. we did get some answers, at least mm -hmm. some solutions. It's when we don't have any solutions or cannot come up with any solution that it becomes absolutely a problem. Mm -hmm. And I do hope the city of Flint, uh, they are bringing in the state, as far as I heard, and I also know they talked to Obama uh, to come in and or somehow help with this situation. But if it's going on all over the nation, mm -hmm. uh, well, not all nation, all of the nation, but some of the nation. Did you hear on the radio, I think it was Saturday, I don't remember who it was that was talking about it. It was on one of those shows on uh, 1420 WFLT, where this one man, one young man, he was said he's trying to get a, a rally or something together where everybody to stop paying their water bills and they just collect some money or whatever, and when they and when they're being threatened to have their water cut off, that they will help them pay the bill. But they want everybody to stop paying their water bills to force the city to move. To well, do evidently something. that's not going to force them to move mm. if they ain't got the money to deal with it, you know. And what little they do have, that's all they can use. They mm -hmm. can try to stop that. I mean, that's a foolish solution to me. That's to me. Uh, and I wonder if that's that guy that came from Detroit they had, they bought here. No, not him. That's you know about talking about Reverend uh, 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 Booker? Bullock. B Bullock. Bullock. Yeah, Bullock. From now on. He's very militant. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't him. It was somebody from Flint uh, that was talking about that. That That's what he's trying to get people to do now. Okay, well. And I said, wow. Well, well think about the consequences of that. Yeah. If, I mean, the, the, the Everybody's city, not going to come with Everybody's not going to do that. Well, if everybody did it, guess what's going to happen? For In a short time, the water system is going to shut down. Wow. There's no money coming in, so something's going to have to, something's going to give. Mm. That, that's, 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 putting, that's, putting, that's putting a bigger burden on the system than, than uh, what we have. Yeah, that, that. I knew somebody was going to come up with that. It was yep. just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. But anyway, we're over yeah. our time right now. <laughs> as you And as I said, <laughs> we'll bring you back. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Maybe you call me and let me know when uh, you're doing the workshop and we can bring you on in. Okay. Okay, and so go I have from a meeting there. with I have a meeting with my uh, my partner on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and so hopefully by next week we'll have a, a date for you. All right. Okay. Just okay. Call, you know, well, you got my home number or you got my email. You got I my got, email. I've got a couple different. Which number did I call today? That was cell phone. Okay, so I have. That's that because number. I was over here. You had to call me at home. Okay. Mm, you know, but. So I got your number. Okay. Yeah, just let us know. Because we always coming up. We want to come up with more solutions, but I think the biggest issue of coming up with this solution, I mean, is with uh, 
the best issue that we could come with for a solution is money, which is always the issue is money. Mm -hmm. If they had the money, they could fix this infrastructure and we could get our water. Mm -hmm. So I hope that people sincerely got more understanding today Mm -hmm. because I did thought we were the only ones that were going through this. I didn't know that either. Yeah, Mm -hmm. so that's that's awesome to know. And then also we came up with a couple of solutions Mm -hmm. to help people because that buying that water, I just see them be loading up their car with water. And that's, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. that can be a burden on people, especially if they don't have the money to you do it. You know how fast that water goes? I can imagine how fast it goes in a bottle because I, I can drink a bottle a right family? quick. Right. So they, they they have to be drinking the other water too. Well, I think I think mm. they, I think the numbers are we use an average of 100 gallons per person a day. See? That's a lot of That's water. A lot and a of lot of people, some seniors that I've talked to, well, my water is clear, and it don't have no smell, so they still drinking that water. Okay? They're not listening to any of the warnings or anything. Anyway, got to move forward. Right. All right. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So Taurus Black History Corner Internet Program comes to you via satellite at allpointstv.com. You can watch our program every second and fourth Monday. Uh, of the month starting at 3.30. Also, be sure to watch what's going on with political pundit Dr. George Moss, who you met earlier. Yes, nice uh, And he has come, his program come on every Monday at 2 p.m. We still have a few days left in the month of March. Please remember to celebrate uh, Women's History Month. Amen. Uh, celebrate American African women that have contributed Contributed blood, sweat, and tears. Ah, and made many achievements. The men didn't do it by themselves. <laughs> they never can do it by themselves. They always have to have. But us. the women are always forgotten about. Well, we don't let them be forgotten because we celebrate. We yes, right. We can, it's so much that we can celebrate. Uh, for as far as American African, our story. Our story. It yeah. goes all year long. That's why we're here. That's Thank right. you. To try to get people to know and also let them know that we're here. Absolutely. Tr- uh, to try to still get y'all to know how important our story is. Mm-hmm. All right. So celebrate, uh, continue to celebrate uh, uh, March History Month. Celebrate the achievements and contributions of the women, not only to America, but also to the world. Mm-hmm. And enjoy. And go tell your mom, I love you. Amen. There Thank you go. for what you there did for us, Mom. Mm-hmm. You know, just go yes. and celebrate. Um, as always, I like to say Asante, a Swahili word for thanks to all of you who have watched our program today. And if you have liked what you have heard and seen, please pass it on to others. We need your support for without it, we would truly cease to exist. And we are going to be the number one show over here, John. <laughs> Did you hear me, John? Uh, until next time. My great and strong people, keep on keeping on with us. Hotep, which means peace.